Hey, Wilson, come on in, man. I'm just throwing in some wood on the smoke pit, man. Look, check this out, hold up. Quick sneak peek. Oh, look, if you're looking, it ain't cooking, baby. It's St. Patrick's Day, so I got a uh, corned beef smoking on the pit. You ever had smoked corned beef? Seriously, have you? No? It's good, dude. It is the best. Some people boil it. Some people, I don't know what, some people bake it probably. I like mine smoked. I am not Irish, but my wife is, so we're doing St. Patrick's Day, man. We're gonna have some sandwiches later. But check this out. I got some new stuff, man. This right here, look at that. Look at that beast right there, standing next to the JBL Boombox 3. Let me turn it down a taste so you can actually hear me. I'm just jamming some tunes. This is the uh, the W King, I think it's X20. Thing is, I saw it on Amazon. I think it's the X20. W King doesn't really do a good job of like showing the name of their speakers. So we're gonna call it the X20 and I think that's right. But here's the deal, I saw it, right? And I was like, this looks like a JBL Boombox 3. And then I just realized it is a direct competitor because let me just, I'll pause this, I got some bugs on it. Because not only is it shaped like it and it has that look, but they also decided to put in this racetrack subwoofer right here. So it's a dedicated sub, right? Then you got the two dynamic drivers on the side, right? So you got a whole speaker system. Raylan, are you serious, bro? You just <laughs> you just go steal the thunder? Zietzen, Zietzen. Anyways, <laughs> then you got your base radiators on the side. But here's something that they've done, because this thing outdoes the Boombox 3 in a couple of ways, okay? First of all, you got this. This right here is so clutch, ultra clutch. Well, can I actually take this off of here since I've actually put it on? Let's see. So this is a detachable, there it is. This is a detachable strap. It's got the W King branding on it and everything. It's got a little shoulder uh, pad right there. But in case you don't want to use it, the buckle just kind of lays down like that. And then if you want to use it, you just go ahead and, and it's got swivels. So you don't have to worry about putting it on the right or wrong way. And then instead of, like holding this thing by the handle because it is heavy. It weighs about the same as the JBL Boombox 3. So it's heavy and I kind of complain about not having a strap for that thing because sometimes when you're holding it, you got other stuff, right? You got to really hold the speaker. No, nah, man, you can just kind of shoulder strap this bad boy. Check this out. Let me make sure it's right. There we go. You can just shoulder strap this bad boy and now you got hands free. So that's one up on the JBL Boombox 3. All right, now let's get in here, man. I want to show you some stuff. Come over here and check out this speaker booty. So you got the flap right here because it does have an IP rating. I don't remember what it was. We'll get into the specs in a minute. I just wanted to show you the speaker booty real quick. So if you undo it, you got some ports, man. You got your input. The DC input is actually USB-C. How clutch is that for a speaker of this size? Usually you got some kind of brick, but then you got an aux input and then you got a monitor. So you can put headphones in here and monitor sound because you also have a guitar um, input there. I think that's a 6.2. Then you got your OTG because you can charge out with this thing because it's got a 24 hour battery in here. Uh, provided, let's say 30 to 50% volume, you got your, uh, you can uh, sip off that, that battery there. Then you got your regular USB. And then of course, well not of course because a lot of speakers don't carry this any uh, nowadays. You got a memory card reader. That is a TF card reader all of that in the back of here, man. This is nuts how they're doing that kind of stuff inside of a speaker like this. And I'm pretty sure I got my, you know what? This is where we look up some stuff because I want to tell you how much I paid for this thing. <laughs> so I saw it on Amazon, man. I was just, I was on Amazon looking for something else. And then I happened to see this speaker and I was like, I got money for this, I can buy this. So how much did I pay for this? Let me see, hold up, bear with me. Where's my, it says, okay, purchase one time. How much did I pay? Cause, okay, it says I paid 319. I don't think it was 319 though. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, so it's 319, right? Then I had a coupon for $95, so I paid 224 with the uh, taxes 1856. I paid a total of $243 for this thing. Now I know I ain't supposed to be really talking about prices on here, but dude, $243 for this. And when I say this, I haven't let you listen to how it sounds yet. I just want to give you some more details. Since, so since we're here and I'm on the page, this thing does some stuff, man. It does some stuff. Let me get into it. All right, yeah, it is the X20, okay? IPX7, IP6 dust proof. You got a base boost inside it. Well, you got a base boost button right here, but also you got the EQ app, 250 watts peak, but 200, wait. Yeah, 200, 200 watts, but 250 watts peak. That's what they're claiming here. What else? Uh, oh man, 
you can pair these so there's no like party cast or party boost or anything like that. You can't do like 50 of them together, but you can stereo pair them. So that's nice. What else we got? Mm, I talked about the battery. Oh, snap. A three hour quick charge via USB-C. That's that's huge. You don't have to carry around a special cord or like a DC cord or like a DC power brick. All you need is a USB-C charging cable. That That's super clutch. 5.3 Bluetooth. You got your guitar and PA speaker stuff, the headphone monitor, that's all Amazon is telling me right now. But you know what, before we get into our little sound sample, let me share my screen with you, Wilson. I gotta show you, um, gotta show you, watch out for the tennis balls, man. Raylan, Raylan be trying to kill me, man. He be leaving tennis balls and stuff, little toys around in the dark. So, you know, when I'm walking around at night, I might trip over and break my neck. Dude, you're not getting no insurance money if I die. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let me show you this app, man. This is the W King app. All right, let me get into the home page. So this is the home page of the app right here. And then you got your EQ. You see the tabs at the bottom. You got your EQ, your speaker, the source, instruments, and left and right stereo and settings. So you got you can actually control your tracks here, but let's jump into the equalizer. So you can do some presets, right? Bass boost, melody, audio books, classical, jazz party, all that good stuff. But then you can get in custom. So let's show you this uh, 10 band EQ here. Now I'm gonna take this off of what I've done because I had to subdue the highs a little bit. In my opinion, the highs are a little bit too high. You know, the highs be high end. So I had to tone it down a bit, right? So let's go into a preset, which would be bass boost. And we'll leave it at that because that's what it actually comes with. So that's what I'm gonna do the sound test with so I can show you how it sounds. Uh, but then we got source, right? You got the Bluetooth or you can go into your, um, your 3.5 millimeter, uh, what is that? The, uh, the aux cable, you can go into that. What else? Um, we got your instruments, your guitar thing. So there's no device plugged in, but it does it. Left and right stereo, let's see what's in settings. All right, W King X20 firmware updates. Let me see if there's anything available. Let's see, can we upgrade? Okay, we got the latest firmware. So now is the time, you know what's up. This is the part of the video all you mofos came here for, but does it jam no? All right, now look, I know I got the JBL speaker right here. We got the W King X20 and the JBL Boombox 3. Very similar speakers. Actually, W King is coming right at JBL, okay? But we're not doing that in this video because I got another one for you. So go watch that one if you want to see a comparison. For right now, I'm going to put the JBL down and we're going to bring this one over here to the pool because this is where we're going to do our little sound check. I'm going to put that right there. Oh man, I forgot to do the pool cleaner. Hold up, let me put this on. All right, put that on floor cleaning. Throw my guy in there. All right, let's get to it, man. Let's go. I'm trying to spend this time 
with you, you know we all to do what you're doing right now, right now. Baby, won't you swing my way? It's been a day and I've been thinking all oh, long. I know I want you. Long time since the last time. Got a tab, we could run up. <laughs> That's the W King X20. Man, this thing is a beast, man. Look, it has a 10 band EQ. So if you can't get it to sound pretty much how you want it, like in a perfect way, that's kind of on you, bro. <laughs> I think, I think Raylan likes it. <laughs> Either way, I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is, look, even at full price, I think it was like three something, like 319, but I paid like 243. This is this freaking steel basketball courts volleyball any slight outdoor sports activity barbecues just chilling out here in the yard if you want to what else the boat like dude anything you want to do take it to the beach. i don't care whatever you want to do with this speaker for 250 bucks let's say 300 bucks at regular price I, I really don't think there's much out there beating it and it sounds freaking fantastic hey man Reagan. What, what you doing, man? Stop, stop that, man. I got company, man. Stop. What you doing, Raylan? What you doing, Raylan? What you... <laughs> All right, man, y'all get out of here. Y'all give me a good to each other, and I'll see you when I see you.